Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Dead Rabbit Radio. I'm your host, Jason Carpenter. I'm having a great day. I hope you're having a great day too. I am having a great day. I actually got this awesome feedback from a YouTube user. Gray of PTA is the YouTube user's name. I saw this today. Dead Rabbit Radio is the Art Bell show of 2018 for me now. Absolutely loving what you do. Thank you, Gray. Thank you very much. You know, Art Bell, I was actually talking to a friend of mine the other day about Art Bell. I only wish I could be as awesome as that show, but I appreciate your comment. And that was in reference to the Conjuring 2 episode. I really like that one. I really like, I always try my last episode. I always try to walk away and go, that was my best episode. So I really like that one. Thank you for your feedback. We've gotten a lot of great feedback from you guys. I just wanted to highlight that one because Art Bell, Coast to Coast AM, they're definitely formative influences in this show. George Norrie as well. But we got a lot to talk about, so we're going to jump right into the first story. Now, two of these stories were sent to me from Lana. I've talked about Lana before. She's my friend. She's actually, I think I'm going to have to eventually name her like my top researcher because she sends me a bunch of stuff throughout the day. And the first one she sent me, I was like, eh, nah. And I kind of looked in and I go, I don't know, it sounds fake. And I looked into it and it does appear to be real. It appears to be very, very eerie with a rational explanation. And then a twist. So in England, I'm not going to do any accents today. In, in, in England, I might do some accents, but in England, there was a British mom and she had her kids and she would put her kids to bed and she'd be sleeping in her bedroom and she would hear this. Now you go, Jason, that's just a nursery rhyme. You pulled off the internet some creepy nursery rhyme. But we'll get to that in a second. So it freaked her out, obviously, because she doesn't know where it's coming from. And then a couple of nights later, she hears it again. Now, sometimes it would play over and over and over for hours on it. And sometimes it would happen just once, once a night. It didn't happen all the time. But for months, this went on. So maybe for a week, she wouldn't hear it. And then late at night, in bed, she'd hear hear the song again. So she looked all over the house. She couldn't figure out what it was. She was getting terrified. It sounds like a it sounds like a creepy voice. She ended up contacting the Ipswich Borough Council. So she lives in the town of Ipswich, which I thought was made up. I thought it was a town from H.P. Lovecraft, but and it might it might he might also have a town called Ipswich, but. Anyway, so she contacts the city council, and they go, well, if it happens again, call us up. We'll go out there. Now, obviously, they probably think she's a lunatic. But it does happen again. She does call them up. They go out there, and they hear it plain as day. And at this point, they go, okay, this is obviously, there has to be a rational explanation for this. So they begin looking around the area, and they found that, okay, so this is where it gets funny. So there is a shopping center nearby that was broadcasting the signal. And they go, oh, sorry, we had it turned up too loud. We'll shut it off. And no harm, no foul, right? The question is, is why was the shopping center broadcasting this signal late at night? It's their burglar alarm. It's to stop what they call opportunistic burglars. So someone who's dead set on breaking into this place, into like this industrial park, they're going to break in no matter what. But if you're just out with your mates one night and you're like, oh, let's smash some glass. And you walk onto the property and you hear that nursery rhyme, you're going to leave. That is absolutely terrifying. What it was was that they had it turned up louder than they thought it was. It was only supposed to be heard on the property. And spiders, oddly enough. Lana was like, did you hear about the spiders setting off the security alarm? And I'm like, Lana, you're off your rocker. That's impossible. What was happening was spiders were crawling across, which is creepy in and of itself. Spiders were crawling across the security camera lens. It was picking up their heat signature and it was activating the song. I have a couple questions. How many spiders are there on Ipswich? Why are there so many giant spiders around this security camera setup? And how many just random people were walking through that park over the years, late at night, going, hey, let's take a shortcut through the industrial park, and they hear the, it's raining, it's pouring. I mean, like, what? Terrifying. How many nightmares did this place fuel? At this point, I would be more likely to break into that place just to hear the loudspeaker sound. But I got to give this story credit. One, it's intriguing. And two, that is a novel way to deter most people from trespassing on your property. Now, just to say this in fair 
in fair play, the woman's name is never mentioned in the article, and the locations are fairly vague. It could be fake. There's a photo of a spider crawling on a security camera, which almost looks too good. So it could be a fake story. But as a story in and of itself, as a news article in and of itself, it is pretty creepy. So let's hear that song one more time. I can't imagine hearing that multiple times a night for months on end. Terrifying. And hats off to the burglar people. Not the burglars themselves, but the burglar preventionists. It's a good idea. Next thing they know, they'll have like tiptoe through the tulips, ring around the rosy. They can do all sorts of stuff. Start playing the ring video, like have monitors throughout your complex. And once you set off an alarm, the ring video starts. That would, I would leave. I would leave the planet if I was walking through a complex and a bunch of ring videos started up on multiple monitors. That was a clip from our daily podcast, Dead Rabbit Radio. Dead Rabbit Radio is available anywhere that you listen to podcasts. It's daily paranormal, conspiracy, and true crime news. If you want to hear the full episode that this clip came from, check the link below. Please like and subscribe. And hit that little bell, too. That does some magical stuff. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.